For centuries, farming remained the same. Rooted in the soil, bound to the seasons, surrendered to nature. Today, the freshest greens are growing inside a shipping container, right behind a supermarket shelf. So why has this new model started to attract so much attention lately? The pandemic, supply chain disruptions, and rising energy costs raised a question that could no longer be ignored. Why do we need to transport food from so far away? Today, in cities around the world, compact neighborhood-scale micro-production facilities are coming to life. This new model cuts logistics costs, guarantees freshness, and reduces the carbon footprint. In New York, Square Roots transformed portable shipping containers into fully operational vertical farms. Berlin-based InFarm enabled ultra-local fresh production by installing modular farming units inside supermarkets. In London, growing underground supplies restaurants directly by cultivating greens in hydroponic systems beneath old tunnels. Hydroponic and aeroponic systems save up to 90% of water compared to conventional farming. LED lighting and automated climate control help minimize energy consumption. Some systems even partially generate their own electricity through rooftop solar panels. In some countries, vertical farming units are now being installed in restaurant kitchens, hotel lobbies, and school cafeterias. With on-site production, leafy greens can be harvested and served within minutes. This model offers not just freshness, but also creates educational value, brand differentiation, and a clear sustainability message. This is the micro-revolution of food, a shift from centralized mega factories to local flexible production networks. A new solution strengthening food security and supply chain resilience. One day, perhaps a container farm will stand in your neighborhood too. In Turkey, adopting this approach is not just a production project. It's a meaningful step toward empowering local supply chains. Because the future of food production is starting right next door.